About 500 homeless people in Santa Clara County live in their cars. And now the city of San Jose is considering designated parking lots to give those folks places to stay. Kitto has a story you'll see only on KPIX 5. Welcome to Butcher Park in West San Jose, part urban oasis, part RV park, and a de facto safety net of those living on the edge. Home sweet home, huh? Yeah. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, and Alita has just finished making breakfast for her male companion, Ronald. Their social security and pensions add up to $2,800 a month, not enough to pay the sky-high rent. This is the bathroom, and it has a shower and a toilet and a sink. So they bought this old RV and now rough it on the streets of San Jose. Butcher Park is perfect because it sits along a main road and borders a long stretch of apartments. But over here, they have apartments, so therefore they don't, you know, they don't yeah, complain. They Apartments don't, don't complain like residences do. So is that the idea? Is to stay just a couple of days, don't overstay your welcome? Don't right. overstay your welcome and then take off and find somewhere else. They often end up here in the parking lots of big box stores. Every night in Santa Clara County, 500 people sleep in their cars. To some, it's an eyesore. To the city, it's an opportunity. This is a great population to work with because it might be a population that we can help get stable faster. San Jose is now looking into converting city-owned land into temporary parking lots for up to 30 car campers, essentially a homeless drive-in with bathrooms, security, and case managers. Ray Bramson says car campers can get around much easier and tend to have some income. This gives us a chance to bring them in keep them safe while they're in that transitional period and then help them get back on their feet. The plan is in its earliest stages and both mayoral candidates support it. This helps keep people safe and, and, and in a place where, where they can get access to basic services. We should do it temporarily and then move people into permanent housing as quickly as possible. We should do it on, on some kind of public property so it's secure, uh, so it's not people hanging out in the neighborhood and, and I would only do that for a very, very short period of time. Alita says what she needs now is help, not judgment. That I'm a decent, law-abiding person, yes, and I just need a chance to get into an apartment. That's all I wanted was a chance to get into an apartment. And so this is a pilot program. They want to build two parking lots that hold up to 15 cars each. They're trying to get the funding. They think it's going to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of up to $400,000. Brian and Michelle, back to you. Kid, do they have any idea where they want to do this, like what parking lots they're thinking about using? Yes, this is the uh, million dollar question, if you will. They want to locate these parking lots uh, in a place where it's not going to blight anybody, cause uh, too much problems for uh, local neighbors, but they also don't want to put it so far away that a lot of these folks are wasting time, money, and uh, gas to get to where they need to go. We're live in San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.